one of the old cliches of real estate is that you make money on the buy and throughout the rest of the lifetime of that investment you're really just trying your best to not lose that value that you captured at the point of acquisition one of the advantages of being a really long-term investor is that you don't have to be 100 percent right at, at the point of purchase versus if you're looking at a much shorter timeline if you're off by 10 percent on the purchase you could end up walking away flat or at a loss this was something i learned really over the last 20 years of my career that in an asset that does not have a lot of operating leverage it has some operating leverage you could be better at it than i am but in a business compared to amazon where there's not a lot of operating leverage in real estate if i buy badly and i hold it for a year or two there's no way I can pump the profits enough to offset that I bought it 15% too high. There's just not enough operating leverage to do that. When you throw in the fact that when values drop also, it tends to be when cash flows are dropping on top of that from a cyclical point of view, there's not enough operating leverage for me to go steal all your customers because I've got a better, you know, it's just not enough operating leverage. So that the short term part is very difficult if you don't buy well. The long term changes that dramatically, which is if I look back on an investment that you held for 30 years, whether you bought it 10% too high 30 years ago is not going to determine your return over the 30 years. What's going to determine it is that you pick a good property in a good market, were you able to manage it well? And just quick, you bought it for 15% too high over 30 years, that's a half a percent a year. And as you know, that's rounding error into what can go right or wrong. You buy it 15% high and you sell it a year later, that's huge because you cannot make up 15%. And so by having a long holding horizon, it eliminates having the timing part. You, it, it focus on you got to have good assets and good markets, you got to run them well. And it, it, it is the lesson of good real estate. The lesson of good real estate is if you buy good real estate, you hold it over cycles, yes, there'll be downs and yes, there'll be ups, but it will perform because it's a good location, a good building, well managed. Even a good building in a good location, well managed, if you buy too high and hold for a year or two, you may not be able to offset that.